Melanie. Welcome back to my channel, I Heart Stitching. Don't forget to subscribe for weekly video tutorials, just like the one I'm about to show you. This video is a very highly requested video. Um, it is a wet bag. I bought some towels at Target and I cut them up and I made these wet bags. You have some super cute summer appropriate bags for carrying around your bathing suit or all of your fun things. So let's get going. I'm gonna show you all the steps on how to make it. Okay, so here are the towels that I bought at Target. Here's a nice plush one that was $14.99. And this one had these multicolors and it was $6.99. So very affordable. This is the PUL fabric that I got at Joann's Fabrics. I used a 40% off coupon, so it made it very affordable. You can see the one side is kind of shiny. The next side is kind of a soft brushed fabric. You need 100% polyester thread. And I'm just gonna go through the cutting really quick. If you need more detailed instructions on cutting, you can see my Patchwork Cutting Basics video. I'll link that below. And also the Captain America video that I just completed has some really good cutting techniques in there too. So you just wanna cut your PUL and you wanna cut your terry cloth. Um, and you wanna make sure that it is 11 by 13. That's the size that we are gonna do. Cut those edges off of the towels to make a nice clean edge um, for your fabric. And you'll notice here the 13 inch mark is gonna leave that green too small of a section. So I'm gonna cut a little bit larger section and then I'm gonna trim a little bit of the pink off just so that you can see that green. We're gonna be using a half inch seam allowance so I wanna make sure I see that stripe in the finished product. So trim this other edge off and be careful when you're sewing and um, cutting terry cloth, it's a mess. And also it can warp a little bit so just be careful and be aware of that. So 11 by 13 is the sizes that you need. Two pieces of terry cloth, two pieces of PUL. Dust Buster is your best friend when you're working with terry cloth. And then for one of your leftover pieces, you need a two and a half inch piece, so that will be your handle. Just make it whatever length size that you want. You need a 14 inch zipper, and you are gonna place the zipper teeth side down on the terry cloth, the 13 inch side. And then you're going to be putting your PUL shiny side down. It's the right side facing the right side of the terry cloth. And then you're going to pin or clip all of that in place. I like these clover clips. Also definitely use pins for this step as well. So then head over to your sewing machine and I'm just using the regular foot on my sewing machine. And you're gonna start sewing down the zipper. You can use a zipper foot, that's fine. Make sure all of your layers are lined up together and sew down. It's okay if your PUL fabric kind of shifts a little bit, we can adjust that at the end. Then once that's all done, you are gonna place teeth down onto your Next piece of terry cloth, make sure that you have it facing the right direction if you have some directional fabric. And then you're gonna place the shiny side down and clip or pin all of those layers together. Here too, if you have any stripes or anything that you wanna line up, be sure to do that as well. Then you are gonna sew down the other side of your zipper. Again, making sure all those layers are together. Uh, make sure you have your machine threaded with your polyester thread. Now the shiny side should be on the inside piece of the lining and then you're going to top stitch. Be careful when you're top stitching to make sure that all of your layers are pressed down flat. Um, make sure you're pulling the lining from the underneath side over so that you don't have any bunching or anything going on underneath the pouch as you top stitch. This top stitching is going to be really important to make sure that your lining doesn't bunch up and get caught in the zipper. So you can see how I'm going along the terry cloth um, it doesn't matter what color it is, my thread is white and you can't even see it because it's all in the terry cloth, but this is a really important step, really easy to do. Here you can see that top stitch, and here's where you can see the top stitch side and the untop stitch side, so that you really need to have this step done in order for your zip pouch to work properly. So top stitch the other side, you can see how this is looking, and then we're gonna trim up our sides. Sometimes that PUL can be a little bit slippery. And we're just gonna trim everything up so that it makes it nice and easy for us to sew all the way around our pouch. Everything is trimmed up. It's gonna be time to sandwich all the layers together. You're gonna need to open up the zipper about halfway, three quarters of the way. And then you're gonna put the right sides of the terry cloth facing together. And then the right sides of the lining together. You want the teeth of the zipper facing the lining. 
and then pin that in place. The pins will work a little bit better than this than the clips for that step. Then you want to pin your handle. Fold the insides like so, and pin that in place, and then you can take that over to the sewing machine to sew that all together. If your machine has a hard time sewing all these layers together, you can use regular cotton or um, find another solution for your handle. Now you want to test the size, make sure that it's the right size that you want, and then you're going to attach that right underneath the zipper where the zipper pull will be when the zipper is closed. Now we're going to go around. So assuming you have clipped all the way around all the edges, you're going to get started back stitching and you're going to use half inch seam allowance to go all the way around this uh, zipper pouch. Here we're going to be going over the zipper and then we're going to be going over the handle. Now the handle, I have the two layers right on top of each other because my machine is going to be able to handle going through all of those layers. If your machine can't handle that, just put the pieces next to one another and that will work just fine. So continue going all the way around. If you want to see a zipper pouch tutorial that does not utilize the PUL fabric, a little bit simpler, um, you can see my link right here for my zipper pouch, um, my regular zipper pouch video. So go ahead and go all the way around, make sure those zipper teeth are going toward your lining. And then when you're going to finish up, make sure that you leave yourself a hole or a space in order to turn it out. Clip your corners. And then you're going to flip your pouch right side out. You can also kind of uh, grade those seams and trim those seams if any of them are a little bit bulky. Use some non-fabric scissors and trim off the sides of those zippers as well. Also, you don't have to use terry cloth. You can use regular cotton. A lot of cloth diapering wet bags use regular cotton and that would be perfectly fine as well. So flip it all out and then with your lining, you're gonna fold their pieces under and you need to close that opening shut. So make sure you backstitch really well and completely close that hole so that you can keep that nice waterproof seal. And then here is your finished bag. Get that this pouch is fully washable and actually give it a nice good wash because it closes up those needle holes that we were using with the sewing machine. Uh, wash it in warm, tumble dry low, and this is a nice, really great functional bag. Okay guys, thanks so much for watching this video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Um, let me know what is your favorite thing coming up this summer and what you think you're gonna use this bag for. Or don't forget to subscribe, thumbs up this video, and I will see you in the next one.